Hey guys, so I want to show you how to use your equipment at home. All right, so let's go over everything first. So you should have your, um, these attachments here. These are your handles. So you should have those. You should have your anchor. You should also have your ankle straps. These are attachments as well. And then you need your resistance bands. So they go from 10, there's five of them here. They go from 10 to 50 pounds, right? So let's show you setup first. So the first thing you're gonna need is the anchor. So come a little closer for you guys. This is your anchor. And then for me, weight will vary. But for me, I'm gonna start with the, the 40 pound. So all I need to do, this is my anchor. So I'll just put it through this, the, the loop here. Boom, all right. So I have one on. All right, so I have one of these on. Now I need attachments. If I need attachments for the workout, there may be workouts where you don't need the handles. But we're gonna go ahead and put those on there. So as you can see here, there's a hook here, a hook attachment that goes on to this little ring. So put that on there like that, boom. There's another side. We'll put the other strap on, the other handle on here. The same way we did the first one, boom, all right? So now we have a resistance band set up. This one is 40 pounds. All right, so if you wanted to add more, you can. So, I'm gonna add another one. I'll do a 20, all right? So, all you do is the same way you put the first one on, all right? So, I'll put it through the loop. This is gonna add for resistance. So, some of your exercises, it may feel too light, so you may need to add multiple bands to add resistance to that exercise. All right, so same way we did the first one, stick it through that loop just like that. It's in there. So as you see, we have that one handle attached to the 40 pound, right? So all we can do is literally, so the blue one has the same hook. We hook it to one side, just like we did the black one. Boom. And then we go to the other side. Same thing. And we hook it to that little loop right there. Boom. So now we have added resistance. So this may be advanced for some of you. For some of you, you may need more weight. So if you're strong enough, you can add a third band or a fourth or maybe even a fifth, depending on the exercise. All right. So that's how to set it up. Now I want to show you how to put it on the door. So Bring it in a little closer. Let's start at the top. All right, so open the door and you want this. You see it like that? So this side, we want that on the other side of the door. So we're gonna put that up there like that. Loop it over. Let's hold it there, or you can push it down like that. Make sure it's just in there good, push the door shut. Now it's Shakur, all right? So that's the top. So I wanna just show you a few examples. So let's say we wanted to do like some sort of row. We can, all right? Or if we wanted to do something like a push, we can. Just like that, all right? So that's one level, that's the high up. So that would be for, I wanna show you guys more. So how much space we can get. Show you some of the exercises while we already have it up. 
So let's just say I was rowing this this way, right? Boom, that's one. Like I showed you earlier, the press. So we can do that. We can go into a skull crusher here. You can also do tricep extensions. So those are a few exercises that you can do when it's up high. All right, so let's change it. Let's lower it. Let's go to the bottom. There's a lot of exercises you can do at the bottom also. So it would be the same thing. Aim it down. There we go. All right, so on the bottom, on the bottom, you're gonna want to go underneath. So start at the edge, go underneath. The anchor part's on the outside of the door. So now we have it at the bottom, as you can see. So from the bottom, we can also do a row. So from the bottom, we can hit our rows here like that. We can hit our curls like that. We can do single arm curls like that or like this. So those are a few exercises you can do below. Um, you can also do a shoulder press from below. Like that. And once again, as far as the resistance goes, you have to be the judge of it. You know how much uh, that you can do or if it's enough or if it's not enough. Only you know that and it varies per person. So some of these exercises on the bottom, maybe you can do more weight or resistance at the bottom than you can at the top. So you have to figure that out. So one more level. So we'll take it out. And we're gonna go mid-level. So we'll do a mid-level. Just to show you, same thing. The anchor placement is still the same. Put it here. Just want to make sure it's not where the doorknob is. So go a little higher up than the doorknob. Make sure it's in there good. Boom. We're in there. And here. Same thing. It's depending on the exercise. Maybe it's a row from here. Maybe, maybe we got flies from here, stepping out. Boom, boom, boom. Main thing is make sure the anchor is secure in the door. All right, so make sure like your door is secure and it's not gonna fling open. We don't want any injuries, all right? So those are the placements. Uh, once we get further into the program, you'll be able to see the demonstrations of the exercises that we're doing. I just wanted to kind of show you and give you an idea of how it works. So I'm literally in my bedroom right now. So all you need is the bands, the anchor, the attachments. That's all you need and a door. If you have a, if you have a door in your home, there's no excuse. And there's so many different exercises that that we will be doing with these bands. So those are those, and that's how to set it up. And next, the next video will be the mini bands and the ankle straps.